The Igbos living in Abuja, we are pleading Nigeria government to balance their sense of equity, uh, women inclusiveness in governance, and gender equality. The president has been zoned to the northwest. The vice president has been zoned to southwest. The senior president has been zoned to northeast, and the deputy senior president has been zoned to south south. So we from the southeast. We are agitating and we are pleading that the uh, uh, Speaker, House of, uh, uh, National House of Representatives, should be given to not just Southeast, but to women for yes. proper balance in gender that equality. What That's saying. what we are saying. The other areas you're looking at, when it comes to um, talking about her credibility, you um, when you talk about credibility, Adeja Gamba, as we popularly call and known her for, has been in government for past 20 years. And with a wealth of experience in governance and the proceedings of governance, she is competent enough. If there is any woman or any man who is competent enough to hold such an esteemed position and project dignity of women and also gender equality, I think Adeja Gamba, Honorable Nkiru Koje Jocha stands a very better chance. Your name again? My name is Comrade Ogo Augustin Uchenna, popularly known as Uche China from Abia State. Thank you. What's the reason why you're here? Tell us. Okay. Why are you protesting? Um, we are here in solidarity. Um, to plead with the National Assembly, to plead with the leadership of the All Progressives Congress, to please consider the South East in the power sharing governance of this country. As we know, the president is from the northwest. The vice president is from the southwest. The Senate presidency has been zoned to the northeast, while the deputy Senate president has been zoned to the south-south. The question is, where does the southeast feature in all of this? It will be taken injustice to a preposterous level if the southeast is totally left out of the governance structure of this country. And so as Ndibo, as youths who love the progress and unity of this country, we are here to please, please, with the leadership of the National Assembly, to consider the Southeast because of unity, because of inclusion, because of harmony. Without peace, without unity, it will be difficult for us to drive development in this country. For the, for the South is to feel a sense of belonging, they have to be carried along. That is why we are here, to plead with them. In Africa, in fact, um, the world over, the trend is changing. Women are taking uh, more leadership over, and Nigeria must not be left behind. In fact, uh, during the last dispensation, we were talking about 25% uh, women affirmation. Right now, if the, the APC can actually um, carry the country along and give the women a sense of belonging, if they elect Nkiru Joshua as the speaker, as the woman speaker, it will make the women to understand that they are part of this country. It will encourage women to go into active governance. It will encourage women to go into politics. So it will actually help Nigerian women a lot. If Thank you very much. Your, your name, your name. My name is uh, Chief Mrs. Fide Elogi, the President of Igbo Women in Politics. Uh, what we are asking uh, the National Assembly is to allow Honorable Keruka to be the Speaker. Because we know, we have confidence that she's equal to the You understand? Women, Igbo women in politics in Abuja, in Nigeria, we are asking them to allow her to be the Speaker of the House of Assembly. Uh, House of 
not only for Igbo women and Igbo I women. know, but it's, it, uh, uh, if the Igbo has not, Igbo woman has not done that, and to this time that she came around, that she wants to do it, they should give her a chance. They should give her a trial. She, we have confidence in her. She can deliver. If she's not good, she cannot come the first and the second. She's good, and we believe in her. She can make it. Thank you, Thank you very much.